One of Metro Vancouver's most ambitious construction projects is 30 meters beneath the bottom of Burrard Inlet. Nearly 200 million pounds of soil were removed to create the new Second Arrows water supply tunnel. This is a cutter head, which is the front part of a tunnel boring machine. Essentially, the way that the tunnel boring machine operates is it creates a thrust with hydraulic cylinders to push it into the ground, and the cutter head spins to chew away at the earth. In April 2020, the cutter head was lowered down a shaft in North Vancouver. This new tunnel is just over a kilometer long and will replace existing water mains that carry drinking water from North Vancouver to North Burnaby. The tunnel will eventually house three new water mains, which will increase capacity to provide water to the region's growing population. The Tunnel Boring Machine, or TBM for short, was similar to this one. It needed to withstand immense pressure as it dug underneath the ground and water of Burrard Inlet. Our machines are always under the groundwater table. That's why you use pressurized face tunneling. And people often ask, well, what are you going to do when you're mining underneath the river? I'm like, nothing. It's just a normal Tuesday for us. An elevator trip down an underground shaft is the first step to reaching the TBM. Next is a mine train that transports people and materials in the tunnel. The TBM is more than 130 meters in length. Inside, it's a bit like being on a submarine. Operator Phil Birch commands the control room. There's certain parameters for every step of the machine's operation. You have to do certain things as a step operation before you can do the next. So I have to start pumps, start greasers, start the cutter head. It took about an hour and 10 minutes for the tunnel boring machine to advance 1.5 meters. The next part of the cycle involved installing the concrete rings that line the tunnel. Today we're building ring 608 out of a total of 719. Each precast segmental ring is comprised of six precast concrete segments. The ring segments are carried down the tunnel on the mine train. Then a vacuum lift picks up the pieces and sets them down onto a track that moves them underneath the erector equipment. The erector equipment then lifts each ring segment into place. These segments weigh up to 3,600 kilograms. That's 8,000 pounds. On average, right now we're making eight to nine rings a day. Each ring is 1.5 meters, so you're looking at 16 meters on a really good day, 11 to 12 meters on an average day. Overall, during the dig, the TBM pumped 85,000 metric tons of soil out of the tunnel. After 13 months of digging, the TBM finally completed the tunnel at the south shaft in Burnaby. Normally, the ground crew would stand in the shaft to witness the TBM's breakthrough, but the shaft was partially full of water, so they watched the action via a remote camera. And this is what they saw. A burst of swirling bubbles marked the TBM's breakthrough. There's much more work to be done on this tunnel, but for now, the team can take pride in the fact that this was the first time a TBM of this type has ever been used in Canada. We've done something that has never been done before. We've got a great group of guys and gals put together. We've got a very strong team, and it's going to be a very successful project at the end of the day.